it's March and I would like to call it March Madness because we've got all kinds of madness going on around here. <laughs> I don't know if St. Patrick's Day's luck is upon us. Um, <clears throat> I just wanted to get on here and give you guys some encouragement because I needed some. I caught myself saying I'm not doing enough and we are in a transition in our family. We're getting doing all kinds of things on our house. We're doing some uh, remodeling, we're decluttering, we're just all kinds of stuff. And I catch myself, even though we are making progress, feeling like I'm not doing enough. So I needed a little reminder saying, I just progress, not perfection, progress. Just keep going, just keep going, it's okay. And um, I want to, so as we're decluttering and things, I have some things planned for over the course of the next month. I'm sorry I haven't been on here much. I've, I just have, it's been really crazy and I haven't been sure what I can share because it's just crazy. There are so many things that I want to do, but right now I'm just not able to. So um, I'm gonna flip the camera around and do a walkthrough of the house. So one, because I want you to be encouraged and see that no matter where you are, no matter where you are, you can start and there can be progress and that's okay. So I'm going to be a little vulnerable here sharing my house. And also I want to, when a month from now, when we're not in so much craziness, I want to have something to look back on and be like, see, you did it. You did something there, lady. <laughs> so, Sorry, it's echoing in here too, or the sound in here is horrible. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and flip the camera around and show you guys uh, around the house. So we've been painting, we've got all, we've got this whole room painted, which I am so excited about, guys. This doesn't feel like much, but it was so dark in here. This was a really dark wood on the trim. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get it, but we painted it white and it's so nice. So this, we're kind of like in a construction zone. I've got, the table's mostly clear, right? We can still eat off of that. We've got paint cans and stuff. We've got our TV that was wall mounted here. That has been, that's been taken down. The hole's been patched. And now it's over there because you know the kids can't go without TV. And who am I kidding? I want to watch a movie with them too. Um, this trim around this window, we had a new window pit in. We had to paint the trim. We painted the trim in the rest of the house white. The whole, all these walls, it's the beautiful new grayish color. It's like a thing. The inside of this, I had a calm down space for the boys. So there was like a tree and stuff in there. So I painted over that all white. And then, I don't know if you can see the boards down there in the hall. Joshua is building a door to go on this closet. It's supposed to, it's going to be like a barn door. Then again with the bathroom mess. I just because we're constructing, I haven't been keeping up as well with my regular like like okay, now we need to put these the rest of the that stuff up. I haven't done laundry yet. Like it's just when your family is going through a transition Listen. When you're busy, you have busy seasons, and it's okay to not keep up with everything. Okay? I'm talking to you and me here. <laughs> Flip you back around here. This is my son's room. It's the one room that's kind of done, mostly done. It's been painted and cleared out, and he was so excited. He got that little bed frame over there. But then the rest of the house is this. I can't tell you how many times I've gone through those clothes and gone through those closets. It's sad to me that I don't think I've ever closed those closet doors. It really, it's just sad. I have a ton of school, like, I'm going to flip you back around. I have a ton of homeschool materials that I'm not ready to let go of because I still have a dream that someday we'll come back to that. And so... I'm, I I sorted through it. I got rid of some stuff. I got rid of some clothes, but it's just, I don't, I still have so much to get rid of, but hey, I did make my bed. Did you see that? 
the bed is made mostly kind of I still have a nightstand full of crap yeah okay so that my friends is the rest of the house and moving along we were putting everything we were selling in my son's room so this whole room was full of stuff and I can't give books like we've gone through the books a lot of times too and I just can't give up on those Charlie is like super into checkers right now he wants to play it all the time I'm pretty proud though we pretty much have narrowed it down for toys to like a shelf the boys each have a shelf Daniel has a shelf in his closet that's just like this except for um this over here actually has the shelf in it um anyway so that's pretty good but then over here in his closet I still have like I have a toe of so when we were doing our homeschooling we had a science box for doing science experiments and stuff this is our reading box that has any letters and all of that stuff. And then this was our math box because we did hands-on learning. So we had all our manipulatives in those boxes. And I don't want to get rid of that stuff. Like, we still use that stuff. More books. And he loves his circuit. Sorry, building circuits. So, okay. So I hope that, my hope is in sharing this. I know this is kind of a random all over the place video. But my hope is when I wanted to see where I'm at now so that when we get our systems back and I will be sharing later later this month I'm going to be doing some challenges or um something along those lines to get back on track because having seasons of busy is okay like you're going to go through times where guess what the house isn't going to be perfect there's going to be dirty clothes and there's going to be there's going to be challenges in life sometimes and that's okay it doesn't have to be perfect it just needs to be progress so I my, my purpose in sharing this video is hopefully giving you some encouragement letting you know that you're not the only one who has rough times I know you're not and um, let's kind of keep it like if you have any comments on what what's a time or a season that you have gone through or maybe you are going through that um, that has been challenging for you or um maybe like me you thought you weren't enough or whatever whatever your dialogue is let's let's take a moment to share some vulnerability and to encourage each other and to just sit in community and